In this demonstration, we are going to take a circle with a radius of 5 centimeters and find what the area of this circle must be. To find the area of any circle, we can use the formula A is approximately equal to pi r squared. Specifically, A stands for area. The two squiggly lines means approximately equal to. The pi symbol is always going to represent the decimal 3.14. R is the radius of the circle, which is exactly half of the distance across the circle going through the center. And of course, we take the distance of that radius, and we are going to square it. Now be careful. Many people, when they take the radius, instead of squaring it, they multiply it by 2, which would be incorrect. So for this example, the radius is 5, so we would take 5 times 5, which is 25. Now, what we're going to do, though, is after we write our formula, is set up all the values appropriately. So on the second step, we just write A is approximately equal to and we take the pi symbol and substitute 3 and 14 hundredths and where the radius is is we substitute the number 5 and then we leave the second power where it was for the third line I want you to see that we took the radius and we squared it first so we took 5 to the second power which is 25 and the last step is we simply take the square of that radius and multiply it by pi or 3.14 now when you carefully multiply Make sure that you don't make any errors. Go back and check your work um, once or twice. And make sure your decimal is in the correct place. Notice in this example, there are two numbers after the decimal. And in your answer, the same must be true. So 78 and 50 hundredths square centimeters is the area of the circle. But notice how when I wrote my answer, I took away the zero because it was unnecessary. We truncated it to make it a little more simple. Usually in math, it's just best to put things in the most simple form possible. So our answer is 78 and 5 tenths.